Hello Leo couples and welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascension Tarot. My name is Angela and this video is going to be for the Leo couples Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs for the second half of August 2019. I hope all is well with you guys. A warm welcome to those of you who are new to my channel and a welcome back to those of you who have returned. Um, let's get right into your message. Holy Spirit, show me what it is that you have for the Leo couples. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for the second half of August, 2019. Leo, as I shuffle, I want you guys to keep an open mind when listening to this reading because there may be parts of this that resonate with you and parts that don't. The parts that don't resonate with you, don't worry about that. Let that go. It may be for someone else. And feel free to check the videos for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more clarity if you happen to need it. And understand that things unfold at different times for everyone. So, And the outcome and the advice is not going to be for everyone. So this is why I say please don't make any life-changing decisions based on a general reading. The energies here can go vice versa. And if you would like a reading based on your own personal energy, keep in mind that the sale is still ongoing on my website. Half price on a 30 or 60 minute live phone reading session that you can book there without any promo codes. The promo codes are obsolete right now. I may put them up later, maybe, maybe not. But anyway, let's get into the message, Leo. Oh, it looks like... Leo, be careful how you move. And what I mean by this is be careful of your environment. Okay, be careful to not offset the balance, whatever that means to you. Make sure that you are paying attention to your environment and the people that are around you. Leo, I feel that there could be this fear of the unknown. There could have been a recent situation that may have confused you. It may have caught you off guard. And I feel that there's something that's going to come up in a situation, Leo, that's going to help you understand. I feel that some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, even an Aries for fire. I definitely see fire. Um, this could definitely be your own energy, Leo. You could be dealing with another Leo. Okay, fire sign and earth sign. And water is going to be very prevalent, so Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Oh, Leo, it looks like maybe you stopped talking to your partner. I feel like you guys are just completely ignoring one another. Though the two of you love one another, something's driving the two of you apart. I see a lot of emotion going on. Maybe you feel like you care too much. Maybe you feel fearful about something in this connection. And yeah, you are feeling emotional because I feel like you feel that you need a good cry about something. And you feel that you want some emotional support. But maybe the one that you love the most isn't there for you. I feel, Leo's, that you could be sleeping a lot right now. And yeah, you feel like you need a hug. You want someone to show you some type of appreciation or to be grateful for what it is that you bring to the table, Leo. I feel that you're seen as very beautiful, Leo, inside and out with whatever this is that you bring to the table. I feel that you have a beautiful connection with the one that you love. But I do feel that you could definitely benefit from getting centered and getting some type of balance in your life. It has to do with an earth sign. Some of you are moving from place to place. Leo, I see a new location. So you're relocating possibly for work, for love. But there's a new beginning here that someone here is kind of running from. Central overall energy of your reading is getting clear. There's something here that you need to get clear about. Some of you are wanting to get clear about your career. Others of you want to get clear about where you stand with some someone. And others of you are maybe trying to get clear with issues regarding health. You're needing some definitive answers about something, Leo. Whether this is you or someone that you love. See, the autumn season is going to be very significant to you. So the months of September, October, November could be significant. You could be dealing with a Virgo, uh, Leo, Virgo, Cusp, Scorpio, or Libra. Um, you're feeling discouraged. Feeling down on yourself. You're feeling stuck. 
something significant may play out this summer, or maybe something did play out this summer. I see a lot of sorrow, a lot of sadness, like I said, a lot of emotion. Some of you could be uh, going on some type of upcoming trip. You could be traveling somewhere nearby. Um, I do feel that you are feeling exhausted, whether emotionally or physically, because of something that you're doing. Okay, maybe you're working too many hours. Maybe you're, you've taken on a lot of tasks. Leo, I almost called you guys Aries. Oh, and I feel that some of you could be dealing with court matters, court documents. You could be signing a contract for some of you. There could be an upcoming contract that you're dealing with. I feel that some of you could be upgrading some type of a skill um, or sharpening an existing skill. I do feel, Leo, that you are taking action especially regarding your health. Someone around you may not be in the best health, or this could be regarding a relationship around you. It's, it hasn't been the healthiest, and I feel that there's something here that you want to bring healing to. Okay. I feel that you will be closing one door, one chapter of your life, and opening up the next. Um, and, and some of this may entail some of you going to school. There has been some type of conflict, and with conflict came some type of confusion. I feel like there could be an Aquarius in the picture. You're wishing for something to play out. You have a wish on your heart. Um, there is a barrier to your relationship right now, and it looks like there's someone trying to come in between you and your partner. Whether this is something that you are aware of, I feel that you are because you're feeling very emotional about something. Now... The biggest challenge in the relationship right now is I see you going two different directions. I feel like one of you guys is letting go because you recognize that your partner just wants to do their own thing. They want to be wild. They want to be uninhibited. They want to not have any set of regimented rules. They don't want to have to answer to someone. So yeah, someone's definitely feeling stuck and unsure about how to proceed with fixing a situation in their life right now. Yeah, a lot of fun times with this person, Leo. And now maybe you're fo you've shifted your focus to money because you're dealing with someone that is more interested in having open relationships. And that could be giving excuses about spending extra time at work when they're really out with someone else. Let's get into it. Leo, single Leo couples, forgive me. That and, and I don't feel like that was a. I don't feel like that was an error. I feel like you're in a gray area, Leo, with regard to your relationship. You don't know whether you guys are together. You don't know where the two of you guys are apart. You just don't know where you're coming or going when it comes to this relationship right now. Couples. So the singles video may resonate with you as well. Leo couples, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Holy Spirit, give me more details, please, regarding Leo. Someone's not sure if they want to make amends. Someone here is saying, is debating letting go of a situation. Someone's giving their attention elsewhere in a situation. And because um, someone is giving the excuse that they're bored, that they're unhappy in their relationship. So they feel like the grass is greener on the other side right now. Um, and. Uh, I feel like this has been an emotional roller coaster. Someone can't decide if they want to be in the relationship or they want to be out of the relationship. So I feel that someone has one foot in the door, one foot out the door. And uh, that's no way to run a relationship. So I'm feeling that someone here is definitely aware of what's going on. Someone sees. Someone here likes attention. The attention of other people. You might be taking your partner to court. Maybe there's talk of divorce, separation. Or like I said, this could be some type of contract that you guys are signing. Oh, yeah. One of you feels that you've got, you're taking on more responsibility than the other. Yeah, like I said, someone's working a lot of hours. Um, very frustrated, very tired. Someone feels that they've gotten in over their head. Someone may have come back to a relationship on the premise of wanting to work on things and reunite. That's when someone got in over their head. Oh, what is this about? Yeah, it's like one of you was saying 
We can't fix this. There's too much damage that's been done. All right, too many betrayals. Someone is still trying to heal from a betrayal from the past. Yeah, so you guys definitely have responsibilities. Someone could be staying in the relationship because of the children. Like I said, one of you wants to work on it. No, one of you is letting go because you're letting the other one, you're saying, I'm giving up on this. I'm discouraged. I don't know what else to do. You both recognize that both of you are soulmates. But the red flags are evident. You tried to put these red flags behind you and move forward. And you decided to work on this connection. And possibly even move the relationship up to a, the next level of commitment. Moving in together getting married, making things official, putting things on paper, right? The trust issues have come right back up to the surface. And one of you is pulling away because you're saying, you know what, I deserve love. And I'm not getting the love that I need here. Let's see what this is about. Okay, so because I see something here that I'm not quite understanding. Some of you could be at school or at some type of training for something. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo. Mm. Someone, okay, I'm going to say it's you, Leo. It doesn't have to be. It's, it's, a, it's a general reading. But I feel that someone here needs some space. To think about what it is that they want. Because someone is saying, I don't think I want to be committed. And my partner does nothing but resent me and hold old things against me. Hold things over my head. Mm, someone thought the grass was greener elsewhere. That could have been the source of your fights. See that? Ugh, the seven of swords. You caught someone misdealing in the relationship, doing things that they shouldn't have done. This could be the father of your children, the mother of your children. And there are definitely three involved in this situation. So maybe you found out what happened, Leo, and you told your partner, I'm done here. Okay, You could be telling them that right now. Because you, you already know that they're lying. They've done this before. right? This is... Definitely someone, like I said, that, that, that is very good with words. They're a sharp dresser. Like I said, they get a lot of attention. This is um, someone with a roaming eye. So yeah, they call themselves getting bored in the relationship. And they might be saying, you know what? I don't know if I want to be single or if I want to be committed. They don't know from day to day. <laughs> okay? So you may be trying to gauge it. Uh... Yeah, but see, it's like your intuition is definitely chiming in, Leo. You know that something's not right. See, someone's definitely married or you, you have a long-standing relationship. And someone is not sure if they want to be in this relationship or they want to be single. Okay, I feel like the truth is definitely going to come out. See that? That's what I meant by the beginning. You're going to get... Something is going to be revealed that's going to help you understand something that could have been a mystery with regard to your partner. Okay, they, like I said, they could be saying that they're spending a lot of time at work when they're really dealing with someone else. Come in. Looks like this person does really love you, Leo. One of you is definitely in love. And both of you are probably, I don't know that this makes any difference, but both of you are very attractive. <sighs> what is this? Your spirit guides. The number is one and two or maybe even three could be very significant for you some of you have one two or three children i'm even saying a gemini someone has gemini and fire in their chart so someone could be gemini leo um
you're letting go because you found out that your partner could be communicating with someone else. But at the same time, it's like they don't want to end it with you. They may have actually left to be with someone else. But I feel, Leo, that if your partner did leave, that they are coming back to talk to you. To talk about issues pertaining to the family. They definitely want to clear the air with you about something. And this could be why you're feeling very emotional. You tried very hard to keep an open mind about this relationship hoping that things would work out between the two of you but I mean the red flags are just there and it's like you can't ignore them you already see it you sense it you feel it Leo so new location maybe you're moving away maybe you moved out right because you're letting go ready to speak up yeah someone here has made a decision two scenarios and it's not really that difficult to follow first scenario is if you didn't recently reunite with your partner then I see that someone is leaving to have a new start elsewhere with someone else that they could have been communicating with and I feel that you already know about it it with the ace of cups they leave or maybe they've returned for others of you, someone is leaving to be with someone else who could be an ex of theirs to try to work something out. Hmm. Wow. Well, that's positive because I see that the situation will improve. The Wheel of Fortune here. If this is something that you want, Leo, it, ha it stands a chance of working. But remember that this is a general reading and this is all based on free will decisions. So it's like you've got to put in the work to make this work if you want it to work. It can work if you work it. Okay. Um, but I see someone is letting go. But I feel that someone is going to say yes after getting more information. Wow. Okay, I hope this makes sense to someone. Yeah, but it's telling me that you're going to make a peaceful resolution. And maybe the thing that you're letting go of is the past. And you're deciding to move forward here with the Ace of Cups and see if the two of you can really work on this and give it a, a really good try here. There could have been a misunderstanding. I don't know, but it looks like the two of you, this isn't the first rodeo, right, where there's been trouble in paradise in this relationship. Feel like the two of you are shifting your focus elsewhere and you're deciding to focus on your work maybe there's okay let's let's talk about work okay because it looks like some of you are interested in becoming an entrepreneur you're wanting to work for yourself you're very career driven at this time all right sorry about that leo hmm no let me go back to your relationship i feel that someone here is going to come back and give you an apology someone here recognizes that the way that they were moving was not right that's why i said pay attention to your environment something here is different when it comes to your partner when it comes to the relationship it's not the same anymore it's been a climate change in your relationship okay but with regard to work yes i see that you are career driven right now you're going to take action to do something you're going to be assertive when it comes to an opportunity that's coming your way leo definitely feel that there's something here that you're wanting to manifest in your life something that you want to bring into fruition and i feel that you will do so some of you have been waiting for quite some time for something to play out here yeah you've been waiting you've been waiting for quite some time rejected uh, I feel that yeah the your work environment is very competitive petty trauma filled okay but I do feel that there are some good people around you um, I do feel that you feel that you're pulling the weight 
of everything, right? You're, you're working a lot. You're working a lot of hours. Okay, like I said, you're really focused and driven on your career. Um, I do feel that there is a contract that you're going to end. I do feel that maybe there's going to be a separation that takes place at work. I see you maybe going on vacation, focused on something else. What is this that you're letting go of? You're letting go of something. Maybe you're letting go of people's expectations of you, people's um, chatter, background chatter. So I definitely feel like that's going on. Um, I feel that there is some type of rejection. There are people talking behind your back. There is maybe some gossip going on, possibly because there could be a third party situation going on at work, a love triangle. Um, but on the flip side of that, I, I see that money is good. Money is going to be coming in in overflow. Um, I feel that there's going to be a lot of people attracted to what it is that you're doing. Um, but there's some type of an obstacle or a barrier that someone is trying to place in your way in the way of your success okay um, be careful about who you call a friend Leo because I don't feel that everyone that is in your circle is your friend okay because keep in mind we have the seven of swords here people that are up to no good people that are shady and I feel that there could have been some type of conflict or drama that took place here something that was very petty and there could be something here in Leo that's causing you to decide whether you should stay or go when it comes to this situation. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're bored at your job. You're not feeling very happy. But there's going to be an opportunity. There's going to be an opportunity that opens up for you. I see raise or promotion or public recognition for something that you do. Okay. And with regard to some type of petty argument that you may have had with someone, I feel that the two of you are going to rise above that. And there's going to be someone, Leo, that comes to you to give you an apology. And I feel that the truth is going to be revealed in a situation. Someone here is trying to cover up something very covertly. That's why I'm saying pay attention to your environment, the people that are around you, the people that you call friends. Because I feel like there could be someone that turns on you could be someone that you work very closely with jealousy intimidation because of what you bring to the table it's like someone doesn't want to share the spotlight someone sees you getting shine leo and it's like they want to shoot you down oh yeah so if some of you are dealing with legalities regarding your work situation, I see that things are going in your favor. It doesn't even have to be that it's work-related, but I feel that, that if you have some type of legal contract, um, and you could be going, something that is legally binding, it may have something to do with a house. Some of you could be selling a house. If you're selling a house, I do see that that does go through for you, um, and I do see that something does happen abruptly or suddenly for you. Something very unexpected. I feel that this unexpected thing could be that you get some type of outreach from someone. Someone wants to communicate with you. And that could cause you to feel confused and lost about, like, you said X, Y, and Z. Like, now you're trying to reach out. I don't know. But someone is feeling sorrowful about something. Capricorn, Libra. Yeah. I see winter. So someone here is very cold against someone else and someone here is maybe getting advice from an elder maybe their mother a confidant someone that they trust some of you are writing a book and maybe you're wanting the advice from other people maybe you're getting advice from your mother okay school maybe you're getting some type of advice about school but i feel that this is someone that you treasure or something that you treasure it could be that you're it's your career that you treasure now um, hmm. someone here could be waiting on the outskirts of this relationship for someone to get a divorce and get a separation in order to reunite with someone reunite with your partner whether it's you Leo or them because I do see deception on the outside of this relationship as well but I do feel that someone was promoting it in other words, they were giving someone attention and someone felt that they had the right to intervene in your relationship. 
someone didn't stop the other one from intervening. It could have even been a Sagittarius. Or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <sighs> this could even be a baby's mother. I feel like someone could have children in this relationship and have children outside of this relationship as well. And someone is letting go. And some for some of you, letting go is letting go of the past. Letting go of the past pettiness, the drama, and moving forward. And making strong commitments, moving forward. Restoring the trust that was broken. And maybe, like I said, bringing the relationship to the next level of commitment. But it looks like... As I stated to you before, someone here needs to communicate and speak up and say how they're really feeling. But it looks like the two of you may decide to heal a family that was broken by deception and broken promises and selfish choices. Let's really quickly take a look at the energy of your cross watcher. Oh, so your cross watcher could be feeling very emotional as well. They could be very spiritually grounded, this other person that you're dealing with, Leo. And maybe they're looking for some type of sign about whether the two of you should stay together or move, move forward and away from this connection. Your partner could be having mental conflict about whether to <laughs> keep this relationship going or to let it go. That's what I'm saying. Someone here doesn't know what they want seven of swords again both of you were playing uh, <laughs> i'm saying shenanigans maybe on both sides no no maybe for some of you but i feel like it's like someone is calling you on your bs they see they see that you're full of mess like that you're full of drama that you're lying they see the red flags you're Crosswatcher feels like they're alone. They feel isolated in this relationship. They're feeling emotional. They just want their friend back. Because I do feel that the two of you did have a very strong friendship bond at some point. But it's like the, the, the there's a gray area. The, the, I'm hearing someone has to draw a line in the sand. Setting boundaries. There's no clarity. Your partner doesn't feel like the two of you can really come back from this either. So both of you are letting go. It's like one of you is letting go because you feel that the grass is greener elsewhere. And others of you, your partner is letting go because they're saying, you know what? Go do whatever it is that makes you happy. And if it means being with someone else, go do it. But don't do it in front of my face, right? It's like you're saying, have the decency to leave and be with the other person rather than trying to hold on to us both. It's a matter if I put it back or not, Seven of Swords comes out. Okay. Yes. So the bottom is the death card. So somebody is saying, I'm done here. I'm done with your games and your shenanigans. And the Sagittarius keeps coming out. So, Leo, maybe you have Sag in your chart or there's telling you there's somebody lurking around your relationship. But like I said, someone feels comfortable doing that. No one is saying you have no right here. Interfering. Regret. Cross watcher, either one of you, it looks like you realize it that either someone's leaving two storylines leaving to be with someone else in this scenario it's very clear on both sides someone is leaving to be with someone else or the two of you make a choice to work this out and I see a humble apology coming in after some infidelity and some game playing was going on see that someone is really all about the attention and the games and the childishness in a relationship. And, and cross watcher, you feel like you've waited and waited in this relationship. You've waited for things to become more steady and reliable in this relationship. You've waited to bring this relationship to the next level only to come up empty and you're saying, you know what, I'm waiting for nothing. This person continues to treat me unfairly. 
and look at other options. Someone here is looking at a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Someone here in the scenario hasn't moved on from the other one, but it's like someone here is saying, you know what, I'm not going to give that my attention anymore. The death card could also mean in, in one of these two scenarios that someone is ending the third party and now they're focusing on their counterpart. They're giving up the player life. They're severing, severing the ties with the player life, the deception, the lies, and they decided to heal the family. And they may actually come clean and tell you the truth in a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and tell you what it is that they really want to say. That they're ready to compromise and that they want to get to a place of forgiveness. Scorpio could be relevant to you. See, there's a separation. Either the two of you separated and you reunited, or there is a separation going on between you and your partner at this current time. Because someone here is saying, you know what, I don't want to make a choice about who I want to be with. But I feel that someone is definitely going to make a choice about who they want to be with in this scenario. And the choice is going to be made very soon. Because there could be an ultimatum. And yeah, like I said, someone has regrets about something that they did. Stepping out of the relationship, cheating. I feel that someone definitely wants to come back and ask for a clean slate to start over again. Um, I don't see a final decision here about a divorce. I just feel like someone is confused about what it is that they want, whether or not they want a separation or they want to be with you. Do they want to be a bachelor or do they want to settle down and have a family? It's like someone here is confused. It's not that they're confused because I feel like that's a misrepresentation. I feel like someone in this scenario absolutely knows what it is that they want. But they're just saying, like refusing to settle down when they know that they, they have the potential to do it. They want their cake and they want to have their cake and eat it too. So it's not really confusion, it's selfishness. There is somebody involved. Someone else. They were flirting, possibly at the job. But guess what? They were retreating. They did pull away, but I feel that now someone is going to step forward and make the effort because someone's covered it. Cover is blown. Something that was hidden definitely comes out in the open. Someone's creeping around, and the truth is going to come out. But I feel that you might decide to stay with this person, Leo. Some of you might decide to stay, and, and, and others of you, I feel that someone is going to leave the situation to be with someone else. Because they might say that they're in love with someone else. <sighs> now when it comes to your career, Leo, I feel that your authenticity is what is a threat to other people. You're very genuine at what it is that you do. And maybe other people are wanting to steal your ideas. Try to capitalize on your success, ride on your coattails. Hmm. So that's why I said, watch your environment, watch the people that are around you. You will see the truth about some people in your life. And for, uh, for some of you, unfortunately, that could even be your partner. The person that you're partnered with could be the deceptive person that you might decide to get away from. For others of you, I do feel that you will hear your partner out. For others of you, you're definitely letting go. Because you're saying, you know what, life is too short. I want to feel safe in a relationship. And this person doesn't make me feel safe. So some of you are definitely breaking free. But yeah, someone here is definitely trying to get clear. I feel that your spirit guides are trying to speak out to you. I do feel that you may get some type of um, revelation through your dreams about something. And yeah, I feel that right now is, is a time for you to become self-reliant and I feel like you're focusing on yourself right now, your own self-care and the things that make you feel secure.
because this relationship right now, Leo, is not making you feel secure. It's making you feel the complete opposite. Let's get into the advice for the Leo couples. Holy Spirit, the advice, please, for the Leo couples, the Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. But keep in mind, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So there's going to be something that may shift or change in your situation all of a sudden when you least expect it. But it's up to you, discernment, to discern whether or not someone here is being honest or not with what it is that they're saying. Huh. Surrender to trust and surrender the habit of people pleasing. And someone here may have issues with addictions. It says whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking. Take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with a healthier alternative. So I was talking about health, right? We were talking about health. For some of you, this is someone's mental health. It's definitely affecting the health of the relationship because of codependency. <laughs> Let go of people pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of trying to make everyone else happy. This could even be at your job, people pleasing. Surrender to trust. Trust yourself to make your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. So in other words make the decision that is right for you i was just talking about being self-reliant trust yourself to make the right decisions and stick to that decision leo and you don't have to do what everyone else is expecting of you and maybe this person is an addiction leo this concludes your general reading with angelic ascensions tarot Again, if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can head over to my website, angelicascensionstarot.com, to book a reading with me. Oh, and I forgot to mention at the beginning of the reading, I do have a meet and greet coming up September 14th in Santa Barbara. As we get closer to the date, I'll give you more details. But yes, if you're, if you're interested in uh, maybe having an in-person reading, a mediumship session with me, or whatever <laughs> you can meet with me september 14th in santa barbara so mark the date for those of you who are interested thanks again for watching leo thank you very much don't forget to like share and subscribe feel free to leave a comment i'll talk to you guys very soon in another video bye for now